Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 40, and this is war number seven, and we're going up against an alliance called Blackjack and Jukers. Okay, or Juker. Now, I heard that we faced these guys in the season previous before I joined, and they lost, but barely. I think it was like one, one death uh, of a win for us. So it they, they're tough. Let's see who they've banned. And of course they banned Gallon. So that means that they probably know what they're doing and we're gonna have a rough time. So let's go ahead. It's becoming very common to see this combination. Let's see. See, I already see that infamous uh, Iron Man up there. Y'all remember what happened before? And look at this. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> they they know what they're doing. Oh, do they know what they're doing? Okay. So check this out. We've got um, Ebony Maw, right? He's already annoying to fight. But he doesn't get an armor up. So we would just need a good counter for him. However... They've banned Gallon, so that this next one here with uh, Ultron, he does get an armor up. So you need a counter for him as well. And it's a little bit more difficult to get a counter for both of these. But mm, I have to think about that because Namor is who I normally will bring in, right? But I might bring in Hulkling. I might actually bring in Hulkling uh, for these fights. I'll have to talk about that, but that's what I'm thinking. Instead of Namor, just Hulkling. And um, my understanding is that Hulkling might actually be decent for this uh, infamous Iron Man as well. So I might end up doing that. Um, these fights, it'll be Claire for sure. And, uh, thing, if I have to take infinite Iron Man, um, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think, um, maybe, maybe I'll bring in Nick Fury. Nick Fury, um would be good for that fight. So I might I might bring in Nick Fury. I, I've been bringing him into um, Alliance Quest since I haven't been using him in Alliance War, but uh, I might do that. Maybe I'll use him for um, that Ebony Maw as well. I don't know. Actually, if they didn't ban him, maybe I'll bring in... Um, Human Torch. I could also bring in Spider-Man 2099, who I haven't used in so long. You know, so Hulkling. Um, Claire, and then maybe a, a Spider-Man 2099. To handle that Ebony Maw, maybe. And could actually maybe deal with that um, infamous Iron Man or Hulkling. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that, but that that's kind of where I'm leaning. I'm kind of leaning towards that. So I'll talk to them about it and uh, you'll see in a minute um, what we decided on. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so check out who we're going in with. Overseer is coming to war. Um, I don't think I have ever brought him in. And this is a first for me. Look at the attack tactic. Subdue. He is a subdue attacker. I have never used an attacker tactic because I haven't had anybody that really benefited from it. Gallon has an attacker tactic that kind of 
goes counter to what I need him for. I don't want to nullify the uh, armor ups. I want them to have armor up so that I can build up my planetary mass faster. So I've never used it until now. And we're coming for you, infamous Iron Man. We got a plan for you. All right, so uh, I came in with uh, Spider-Man uh, 2099, and he makes fighting Ebony Maw just simple. Very straightforward. However, uh, there's another first coming, and it's not necessarily a good first, but more on that later. So I'm just, you know, buffing up here, boosting up, and... We don't need to really worry about most of that because he doesn't get an armor up, as I mentioned earlier. So, um, because Spider-Man 2099 doesn't gain buffs, you're not going to get degen. Same thing with Mojo. All right, you see how I just timed that one, spaced it out, hit him with a heavy, so he won't get focused, so I don't have to worry about the uh, falter. Okay, but every chance I get, I'm knocking him down. All right, so we're just doing our work. All right, see, that might have degen me if I'd had a, a buff, but I can't gain any buffs. All right, and this one, I just went all in. Boom, he's down. I could have tried to hit him again with a heavy, but Spider-Man 2099 is just a beast. And for fights like that, him against uh, Ebony Maw, against Mojo, tears him up and i really did think about using him against that infamous iron man but overseer was definitely the better choice and i'll talk more about that uh in a moment but this fight here uh was pretty straightforward and it was my first fight with overseer as a subdue attacker so already right here, I'm liking the damage he's doing. Okay. There we go. Evade, all that good stuff. And one of the things that the subdue attacker can do is he can nullify uh, when he fires his special. But I didn't remember something. Ultron doesn't get an armor up automatically. He's got to do something. So you'll notice he didn't have any armor ups. And I'm not letting him do it. So this was a pretty straightforward fight. I could have also done it with pretty much anybody. Because Ultron, unless he, I believe, parries or something like that, he won't get an armor up. So that was a regular fight as well. If I had remembered that, I might have brought in somebody else uh, to handle that first um, path. But it's all good. In my mind, I have revenge. Revenge against that infamous Iron Man. Now, Hulkling, I had suggested uh, to me. But when I asked around, I was told, oh, no, that would be a really bad option. Because he gains buffs. He's not able to deal with. Um, Iron Man's uh, buff, so I'd have to deal with that unblockable specials and all that. Uh, and so I went and I asked, well, who would you guys? And someone mentioned, they mentioned a couple of people, but uh, Overseer was a subdue attacker. He is um, immune to shock, so if I do get hit, it won't completely destroy me, you know. So I'm like, okay, and I have him ranked up because I knew he was a good champion. I just hadn't had a reason to really use him until now. And so I'm, you can see here, I'm just boosting up. I'm not even playing, not playing with him, okay? This is some revenge fighting right here. And I just did that a little bit. I wanted to see how much it would actually heal me. Not worth it. Um, all right. Now, I've done practice fights against this infamous Iron Man. I practiced, I practiced. Um, I was evading, all that good stuff. 
You see, I put in an invulnerability boost just in case. Don't want to um, mess up or anything like that. Not again. So here, my first time fighting infamous Iron Man. And I figured uh, that scared me. If you'll notice that in the bottom right-hand corner, you see that little um, white corner? I have stage manager on. And that could have really wrecked me. I need to remember to turn that off, but I always forget. Now, at this point in time, I just wanted to bait out at least one. Okay. And there we go. And look at that. I evaded it. What you know. Okay. I wanted to get to his special two. Now that one, don't ask. I don't know. I'm evading. That time it didn't let me evade. And I'm like, okay, now we just got to get this special two off. There we go. Notice that his armor is down now. Okay. Armor is down because I nullified it thanks to being a subdue attacker. All right. So now I see what he did there. So I went ahead and fired my special to get rid of his armor. So that this was not unblockable and I could just block it. And we're just working. I'm getting used to it now. Look at that. He was stunned. Boom. Down. So not the best fight, but we did get our revenge. That's what it looks like when you have a proper counter for your opponent. It should look fairly effortlessly, you know, effortless. All right. So now this fight here, not too worried about it. She gets armor ups like crazy, but of course, Claire... You know, um, I can stay in blood if I want to. And just take the fight nice and slow. Easy. Okay, so you see here, just trying to bait it out. Bait it out. I don't need to worry about too much here. She decks that. Wasn't that fun. But look at that. Bam. So this looks pretty safe. But I don't want to get lulled into complacency because the inputs fight me they fight me. uh you saw in the last one suddenly i wasn't able to even evade i'm so happy i put that uh invulnerability boost on all right so here we go and i'm not worried I'm not worried about the fight i'm more worried about the um inputs to be honest with you which should not be but that w that's what makes me far more nervous than anything else this fight pretty straightforward you know claire can handle this and i started doing medium light mediums to stop giving her so many armor ups because it was just making the fight take longer and there we go fight's over all right so now we get to fight uh, Captain America Sam Wilson. And I can't remember if I fought him on this node before or not. I do not remember fighting him on this particular node. And so I'm going in here. You know, I see the sloped armor, static defense, enhanced shot. And I'm like, well, that's cool because Claire should be able to, you know, nullify his armor ups. And I shouldn't have to worry about the shock in that case. Now, I'm looking here and you can see that, you know, I'm immune to nullify, fate seal, all that good stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, but I think there was one thing there he was not immune to. And I'm just like, well, whatever. You know, um, I figured uh, Claire could handle this fight pretty well. And uh, I hadn't used those in a while. Uh, they used to be so useful to me. But now this was odd. You know, you see I'm nullifying, right? But he still has armor. And I'm like, wait a minute. And those look like they're passives. Look at that. Nullify. 
but now he's got a bunch of passives. What's going on? Look at my shot. Those count. Oh, now. Now. I know I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. So I'm like, okay, I can't hit him with a, a special two to get my health back because he likes to auto block those. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can fire off my special three. Do a little damage. But look at that. Almost no damage. Look at this. Just a little bit of damage. And I'm like, okay. Well, I'm dead. You know? Look at that. And then he parries me to add insult to injury. I'm like, wow. That did not go anywhere near what I thought it would. So, I mentioned that there was a first. Normally, I would have jumped right back into this fight. But you remember what happened to me when I did that with Infamous Iron Man, right? And I had already vowed not to have that happen again. So, for the first time that I can recall, I had to call in for backup. I had to swallow my pride, take the L, and call in for backup. Um, and they told me, sit tight. Backup came in, finished him off, went on to Boss Island, did their fights, and it was all good. A little humiliating for me, but had to swallow my pride. Uh, we, we work as a team. Win as a team, lose as a team. And I did pride myself on not having to call for help like this because I usually look and, and plan better. But I was so focused on my revenge against infamous Iron Man that I did not give this node and that particular opponent enough scrutiny. Now I understand what was happening. And Claire is not good for that fight. Not at all. Um, every time he gets an armor up and they're nullified, they become passives. So it's a really good placement on that node for uh, Cap Sam Wilson. Very good. But we got something for him if we see him again there. Anyway, that's going to do it for this part of the war video. Stay tuned. We'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war as well. And for those of you who are counting, this is our third loss in a row. So you could understand that morale is a little low, but we've been discussing things and talking about how we can improve and things like that. Um, but, you know, it's a little hard, but we're going to turn it around. Uh, as you can see, the war wasn't, you know, a complete blowout, but... You know, we, we, we had room for improvement. Let's just say that. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.